Well, the guys just showed a lot of pride, you know. Um, clearly, they made everything in the first half. Uh, you know, they, they came back down to earth a little bit, but I thought our energy and our toughness, not allowing the game to get away, um, you know, was really important and gave us a chance to, 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 to take the momentum, so to speak, you know, where now they're trying to hang on and, and we're trying to, we have nothing to lose but to fight back. So, you know, the, sometimes that's, that's such a difficult position to play uh, in front when you're just trying to protect the lead. And so we took advantage, we made shots, we made it difficult on them. I thought everyone contributed. There was some outstanding individual defense at the end. And also uh, James made some big shots. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey coach, um, you know, at the end of the last game uh, against the Kings, James said, you said at halftime that you guys had to defend somebody. Uh, and then today you guys come out and down 21 at halftime, turn it around in the third quarter. Is it something about halftime that you're able to use to kind of light a fire under your guys? I mean, obviously charismatic speeches from the coach, a um, couple, couple adjustments here and there. Now, honestly, you know, to be honest, Coaches didn't get too much credit. Uh, you know, the guys played really hard. They had a tough first half. Second half, they played much better. We we're cleaner on all of our principles. We also made some shots, but we did tweak up a couple things. We gave DJ a look at switching. Um, you know, and the guys just fixed our switches in a much more elite way. You know, in the first half, we were a step slow, a step late. We weren't quite as connected. Third quarter, you saw you know, a big change in that. And I think that was just the thing we gave them no, nothing easy. We took away all the sloppy stuff and made them earn it. And, you know, I think that was really the difference of the story of the game. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I got two for you. Just what, what do you think of Tyler's game overall? And then, you know, that second unit really held their own the fourth quarter with James on the bench before you brought him back. Just what would you say to them in that stretch? Well, uh, Tyler was great. He's had a great little run here for us. You know, we love his competitiveness. You know, he can guard, um, but he also has been really confident. He's knocked down threes. Um, he's just competitive. He plays with high energy, so it gives our, our, our group some life and a, and a, and a boost. Um, you know, the, the, the second unit was great. They moved the ball. Um, the game kind of got jumped up with both teams switching, and, and they were able to kind of, uh, instead of it, it's slowing us down. It sped us up in a way. We're creating open opportunities for each other. They made shots uh, and they guarded. So they, they, in many respects, took that shift in momentum and, and exploited it and then set us up for the finale. And James came back in, Joe came back in, and now we made some big plays down the stretch. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Steve, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to get to talk to you between now and pregame Thursday. So if you'll indulge me looking ahead to playing the defending champion Lakers, um, what does a game like this do for your confidence and momentum heading into a game like that? Yeah, I think the morale is going to be great. Um, you know, it's been a tough season, lots thrown at us. So to get a, an unexpected win, so to speak, when we're down 24 and we're missing guys and you know, on, on, on many nights in this scenario, teams in the NBA fade away and it's over. So for us to find a way to win, uh, regardless of the circumstances, I think it was important for our morale. But you know, playing the Lakers is obviously a, a tremendous challenge. Um, you know, we know who they have over there. We know how well they're coached and what they've been able to do in the last year or so. Um, so it's a great test for us. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll load our guys up and be ready to go and try to keep getting better. Brian Lewis, you were close. Kind of following up in that vein, I mean, obviously, Tyler's had a good run, Landry's had a good run, but I mean, when you get games like this uh, from some of these guys that are have been coming off of your bench and you win under these kind of circumstances, how much more confidence, I guess, does that give those guys going forward? I think it's important for them, you know, they... You know, we have, we have a star-studded team, so to speak, and so for some of those good role players that are coming off the bench, uh, you know, it's a big change to play in a team like this that has such high-profile players, and it can be difficult for their confidence at times. So the way that they're starting to embrace this and starting to feel confident and comfortable in that role, playing in the second unit, uh, the standard that's set and that they're meeting has been great. I think, you know, they're all – great people they're all great competitors and they're, and they're good players so just letting them find their comfort zone and then having success on nights like tonight is really important i think for the second unit for for all those role players and also just for the entirety of our team back to christian winfield 
Coach, uh, got another one. Well, got two for you here. One, um, just what's it like playing in front of, well, not playing, but coaching in front of 3,000 fans? And, and did it kind of, did you feel their energy out here? And second, I know you said that, you know, you, you didn't have too much nostalgia uh, for this game or coming back to Phoenix. Did you, but did you sense that your players kind of wanted to give their all because they knew that this game might mean something more to you? I don't know. Uh, it'd, be a good, it'd be a good story, a good byline. But, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, more than anything, they – they wanted their competitive guys and wanted to win and wanted to uh, prove that they can they can get it done on the night like tonight where you know most people are counting us out. We have a slow start. Uh, they made everything, and uh, so I, I just just proud of the guys, regardless of, uh, of of my history here. You know, special for me in, in, in certain ways, but uh, more than that, it's about this group. Dwayne Rankin, Arizona yeah. Republic. We will move on to Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. Yeah, Steve, I got just one more quick one for you. Jeff didn't play at all the third quarter. Was that, you know, he took a shot to the chest earlier. Was that, were those two things related or was it a, a different thing that kept him on the bench? Uh, well, you know, he's, he was on the second unit um, tonight. DJ, I thought, was doing a really good job. So we just tried to extend that run and see what happened with the game. And then Jeff came in in the fourth. Uh, you know, not, not too much into it, you know, maybe just airing on the side of caution, seeing what happened with the game. But, uh, you know, I think that was very, you know, similar to the first half, just extended it a little bit more. And we'll finish up with Matt Brooks, Nets Daily. Hey, Steve, two scheme-related questions. It looks like you guys ran a little bit of zone 10 the first half, um, unless I'm mistaken. Uh, how did you think that went? And then second, you guys, you know, kind of towards the end of the game, you ran... Uh, well, just in a couple of possessions, you had Harden screening for uh, Jeff. Um, is that something that you guys kind of talked about, or is that something that they sort of read on the fly and like the matchups that they had? Um, the zone wasn't great, but you got to try it at some point. You got to try, take a chance, take a risk to try to change the game. Uh, the man wasn't great in the first half. And, not, you know, some of it is we were a little sloppy, a little late. And part of it, they made every shot. You know, they, they were tremendous in the first half. So, and then as far as, um, James picking for Jeff, you know, we, we've played with that a little bit before. Uh, I think we did it a bit in the Golden State game and maybe Sacramento, but, you know, when they wanted to keep Aiden out there and that they were switching, it was just an opportunity for us to get Aiden on James and, and try to manipulate the matchups a little bit. So, um, you know, we stuck with that. We, you know, in timeouts, I didn't even draw anything up in the last couple of timeouts. I said, try to find that switch and you guys be clever in how you can try to maneuver and get the switch and, uh, and we'll space the floor. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. Thanks.